We're well into uh, Passover, I believe. Uh, I want to give you the exact dates, which I'll be getting to shortly. Uh, President's Day was this week. A lot going on. Astrologically, uh, today the moon is void, of course, for a period of time, actually until uh, later today. So when the moon is void, of course, that means it's not really making any aspects. And if you have to sign a paper or make a commitment of some kind or have a meeting, it's not a great time. So, all right, again, as Jack said, we're here at Joyce Keller at MindSpring.com, and the emails are coming in. Thank you very, very much. It's always exciting to see people part of the show, and I will try to get to your emails as quickly as I can. Okay, thank you. And uh, I also will be taking your phone calls. I want to give you the phone number again. It's one three four seven three two four three five eight four again that's three four seven three two four three five eight four and if you give us a little jingle on there we'll take your call yes jack there's there's a call now john okay we're not quite ready so thank you for bearing with us we have right. a little more chit chat and then we'll take some calls i also wanted to tell you that we're very very happy to be on past tv on the past tv network They've already started showing our shows, so write this down. If you go to www.past.tv.network.com, there we are. We're live, I think, Tuesday and Friday night. So just look on those nights, and then they uh, play throughout the, the course of the day and the night also. Another 24-7. So when you get sick of us, let us know. Okay. What else? Again, if you, want to, if, you could, if you want, you could email me right now, Joyce Keller, <clears throat> excuse me, at MindSpring.com. And I, I can see your calls coming in. We're going to get to those. Please, just a short question. Don't write a lot. Just write, when am I getting married? And give me your birth date, okay? Don't try not to say, when am I getting married? But that's what they all look like when I, I look at my, my computer. Okay, also... Okay, when am I selling my house? All right, what I would like you to do is be part of the show. Whatever topics we discuss, and we're body, mind, and spirit, so that's everything, I would very much like to f have feedback from you. Rather than just questions about yourselves, which is okay, let's mix it up. Let's talk about your real feelings about 2012. Are you frightened? Don't be, and we'll discuss why. Uh, how difficult is it to sell your house? What you should do? Improve the feng shui. And I'm going to be discussing that also. A lot to get into. Okay? And let's see. If you have a topic you'd like to discuss, what is meditation? Everybody has something different to say about what meditation is. Well, in one of my books, or at least, at least one, we talk about meditation in my book, Calling All Angels. Also, Seven Steps to Heaven. You can see I don't have my nails done, right? I should have them done. I don't want big fake nails. I had those for years. They wreck your nails. So they're natural now, as you can see. Okay. This book, Calling All Angels, How to Reach Your Angels, for just about every problem you can come up with. This was one of my first books. I'm, I'm, I love this book so much. But I also love this one. Seven Steps to Heaven, How to Communicate with Our Departed Loved Ones. We all become so sad. You know, it's terrible when you lose a loved one, but that's part of life. So this really will help you. It also helps you to communicate with them. Just talking about it, you become very, 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 what is the word, verklempt? <laughs> I've become very verklempt. For shimmer today. <laughs> I'm for shimmer and verklempt. That's because it's Passover. Okay, The Complete Book of Numerology. All right, kids, this is a great book. The universe turns on numbers. Jack wrote half, I wrote half. Look, here are our pictures in the back, okay? This is when I was a brunette. Do you see this? I got tired of having brown hair. I figured for the second half of my life, I'll go blonde. And I did. This is, look, okay, so here I am over here, and here's Jack. Now, he wrote half of the book. He wrote the serious half, the meaty set, half. I wrote the anecdotal half, as you could can guess, okay? 
here's my picture as a blonde over here, Seven Steps to Heaven. I'm assuming Jack is getting all this. Even though Blog Talk Radio is radio, I can't help that. You'll see it when it's on past TV. Okay, now this one, this little one, my friend died. Okay, it's small. You see that? But it's so profound, and it hardly offends anyone. And it will help, and it will heal the loss experience that we all go through. My friend died. What my guides and angels told me to write just for you. All of this is available on my website, by the way. I don't want to sound like I'm hawking or, you know, selling, but look, if they do it on, on home shopping, I can do it too. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Watch, Jack. Do you think I'm funny? This is, our daughter Elaine brought us this from, I, I think it was uh, Nevada or Wyoming. I'm not sure exactly because there's no label on here. It doesn't say where it's from. But it's, th this was actually made mm. by Indians. And it's, it served many purposes. Jack knows when I go like this, he has to run. <laughs> he knows trouble is brewing. Okay. But it's also for peace and healing. Seriously, Jack and I do a lot of healing work, and sometimes my guides say, go get the shaker, and that changes energy. You know how the energy is changing? I'm less boring, right? <laughs> when I do this. You feel better. You should feel better already. Okay. Now, for the folks who are just listening on a Blog Talk radio, or however you wish to hear this, <clears throat> what I have is uh, an Indian... I guess it's called a shaker, but it's fabulously beautiful. If you want to see it, you have to tune into past TV, and you'll see it, because this is going to be played then. Okay, what else do I have to hawk? Okay, everyone, <laughs> <laughs> everyone's very upset about 2012. No, I didn't write this book, but it's The Complete Idiot's Guide to 2012, and you can pick that up just about anywhere, any bookstore. You know, all my favorite bookstores have closed. That's because everyone is ordering everything through the web, through Amazon. God only knows what this is. Anyway, I'll put it <laughs> in my pile over here. We're going to discuss 2012. You have a worry. You have a concern about it. Let us try to help you. I'll give you my personal feeling about 2012. Huge changes on the planet that have already occurred. Is this news to anyone? I don't think so. Do you like my heart? This is. We have three calls holding. I'm very more calls. Okay, look. I got Jack a Valentine's Day present. Do you like this? He seemed to like it. Looks good to me. <laughs> <laughs> Looks very comfortable. It was very good. Did you fall asleep on it? <laughs> not yet, but I plan to. <laughs> You'd rather sleep on me, wouldn't you, you naughty boy? Oh, hey, that's not that kind of a show, <gasps> that's is it? That's a different show. It's the show we do at night. Okay. <laughs> Okay, let's see who's, who's on the line. I mean, I've been so rude to these people because I had, I had to get through all of my business first and we had to discuss today and everything. Hello. I'm losing my voice. Hello. Hi there. Anyone there? I think they all hung up on us. They got so tired well, of me. Well, this is Kathleen. Hi, Hi Kathleen. Kathleen. Nice to have you. It's great to talk to both of you. It has been about 26 years since I saw you in person, Joyce. And well, you we're are not incredible. that old, Kathleen. It must be another couple. <laughs> <laughs> must be two other people. <laughs> Actually, you know, it, it's so funny because you're the reason why I have a lovely husband and marriage because oh. of your advice. Way oh. back Really? Wait, this is a compliment. <laughs> Pay attention, folks. She's giving us a compliment. Go oh, ahead, yeah, Kathleen. Nice. Start over. Take your time. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say, you are just an amazing person. You've always been. I mean, I knew you back. I lived in the town where, where you live, or if you still live there. Uh, that was West I Islip, you right? For Wait, is that West yeah. Islip? Yeah. I can't hear you, yes, Kathleen. Yes, West Islip. What kind of a phone okay, do you have? Okay, can you hear me better? Yeah, that's better, sweetie. So you and still you live gave me some incredible advice. Thank you. About, you know, choices that I was having and choices that I need to make. And I followed my heart, which really followed your advice. And I have an incredible wife, an incredible husband, two beautiful boys, and I'm in South Carolina. Oh, so you're not in West Islip anymore? No, moved out of West Islip about uh -huh. 14 years ago, actually. Okay, good. So now you're in South Carolina. I just was checking because we lived in West Islip on Long Island for many years, as you know, and that's where I met you and I remember. Kathleen, tell me your birthday yeah. again. What's your birthday? 
My birthday is November 13, 1963. November 13, 63? Okay. Go ahead, mm-hmm, Kathleen. Thank I, love, you. Thanks. I love this call. <laughs> Go ahead, Kathleen. <laughs> Take your time. And, uh, my husband's birthday is June 5th, 1965. Actually, my question today was about him. Go ahead. But tell he, me his name he's again. He's out of work. He's out of work at the moment. Um, he actually just left the job. And I'm wondering when he might get a new job. Okay. Can I have an initial or a name or something? Sure. His name is Arthur. Okay. Right. Okay. You know, there are so many things he does well, Kathleen. Where do we begin with this man? He He's very talented in a lot of areas. Is that correct? He does a lot of things well? Did I uh, yes, he does. Okay, I thought he, I lost my favorite call. He worked for the government call. and decided to leave. I, and, you know, Kathleen, say uh, it again, know, he really sweetie. left a moral reason. Honey, I didn't hear what you said. You have to repeat it. I said he just recently worked uh, for the government and left because he didn't feel as though... They were asking him to do things that he was comfortable doing. Right. Wow, I agree with that. He's trying to pursue other avenues. Say it again. Again, you were breaking up. Okay. So now he's trying to go into other areas, and I'm wondering when he might do that. Okay. It depends on what he does. I can see him uh, tutoring and teaching. And sharing. Okay. You know, does that something? Yeah. He, is that something you'd like to do? I can see he can start that over the summer. He could actually start right now. He has to. Okay. Okay. Now I feel he's a web junkie, like I am. Is that right? Uh, well, right now he is. He's okay. Looking for work. Uh, he loves cars. He, he absolutely has always been involved with cars, and that's what he'd like to pursue: going and becoming a claims adjuster. He could tutor people on the care of their cars. Jack is Jack is interjecting something, honey. Since you're not moving the camera, why don't you come and sit with me and 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 help me with the readings because you're picking up something. Then I won't have the microphone. Cars. Okay, and keep stay over there. I'll describe you, Jack, so you don't have but, to cut uh, my camera. He's very t- cute. Tutoring right. has become a very big industry. Yes, and um, there are organizations that uh, <laughs> provide tutors. It's not just for children, of course, it could be for adults also. For example, if your, your husband uh, could uh, teach people about their cars and how to maintain them or okay. how to uh, prevent uh, problems with them. But you know what, I'm, I'm, Kathleen, okay. I'm picking up something. I just scared myself, really. <laughs> I, I feel he can work. scare yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Kathleen, I feel he can work for a major corporation and do exactly what Jack is saying. I have to correct what okay. I first said. <clears throat> Excuse me, when I lose my voice, it's because spirit wants to speak directly to you, and I, I can't go out of my body now, so I'm not going to. But what I wanted to say is Jack is 100% right about the tutoring, about teaching about cars, but I also see it linked in with a major corporation. I, not, I don't know if Chrysler okay. is still in business or if they're in, in China or where they are, but I can see him tutoring and teaching about car maintenance and about car service. Nobody's really doing okay. that. And I can see that a major company would hire him. He has a way of opening doors for himself. He's very charming, yes? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He's intelligent, he's charming, he's gracious, and he will know how to get right in. And I, I can see this. Now, in the meantime, while this is happening, this may take a while to do it, three to six months, I'm not sure. But okay. I do see that he puts together a fabulous resume and he may have to go yeah. through a corporate um, head finder, uh, headhunter, and yeah, yes, yes, yeah. and they will link him up. I have, I really am very excited about this. You have to let us know because I'm very, very sure this is going to happen, and I'm very happy. I know you've had rough times, Kathleen. Uh, because of this transition. Oh, you're so funny because you're so right. But you know what? Love will see us through. It always has. Yeah, I mean, you're a great couple. I mean, your marriage is really blessed. I'm so happy that we linked up again. It's been such a long 25 years. It took I, you, uh, 20, yeah, 26, actually. It took you all this time to find us again? <laughs> okay. Uh, yes and no. Yes and no. But um, okay. I, I'm just so glad I did find you. And you're, you're so wonderful. And anyone who's listening, who is looking for advice, Obviously, always listen to your own intuition, but listen to Joyce and Jack. Oh, thank you. Always right on. And and not only are you connected with spirit, but 
you're connected with everybody with that strong heart that you both have. And I just love you both. Thank you so much. I can't thank you. Now you have to send me a bill for this or what? <laughs> All the good things you said. <laughs> <laughs> Kathleen, big question. When you were at our house, we yeah. did readings in West Islip. Did Jack make coffee for yeah. you? He did. Good. Okay. That's all I wanted to know. Yay, Jack! <laughs> <laughs> Kathleen, thank you. We Jack. love you. We're saying special prayers for you and Arthur and your children. Thank you. Thank you so Indian much. And you heart. all be well. And I'll keep listening. <laughs> thank you, Kathleen. Kathleen. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. I Bye. love... Thank Bye. you, Kathleen. Bye, sweetie. I love... Bye. I yeah. love to speak to our audience. So please do give us a call. We'll get to as many calls as we can. You can see we're not going too fast, but we're doing our best. It's Joyce and Jack Keller. We're live every Wednesday at 2 o'clock on Block Talk Radio. Don't ask about our radio show on GBB 1240 because... I think after, you know, you know how they celebrated our 25th anniversary? I'm going to tell what happened. They pulled the rug out from under us. They said, you're not paying the station any money. If you don't give us money, you can't be on. Well, I'm a member of the union. I belong to AFTRA. And AFTRA says uh, union members cannot pay for their time. So we tried explaining this to the radio station. They said, so? So they're putting greed, the Chinese radio network, GBB Radio is putting greed before quality. So if you want to write to the radio station and send them some hate mail, and you know, I would really welcome that. Be nice. Don't be too nice. And send that to, I'm going to tell you to send it to, Mr. Lowe, L-O. Jack, what's his first name? Jeff. Send it to Jeff Lowe. Hassle him big time, okay? <laughs> because I don't think that quality should be, radio broadcasting quality should be contingent upon what, upon what the broadcasters, like Jack and me, pay the radio station, okay? I think the fact is that we've been there 25 years and they should have a little bit of loyalty to us. So right now, we're not really doing that well with GBB, 12.40 a.m. on Long Island. They don't know the meaning of the word loyalty. Would you like to make another call? Sure. Okay. I'd love that. Hello. Then now I'm going to be nice. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Anyone there? Come in, please. <laughs> Hello. Hi Here there. Hi. This is Jackie. Hi, Hi Jackie. Jackie. Jackie, have we spoken before? No, we have not. <gasps> Welcome. Where have you been? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I love Jack. I call Jack Jackie. Jackie, tell me your birthday, sweetie. Uh, my birthday is January 2nd. <gasps> Does anyone really celebrate your birthday? Not so much, right? No, and I'm a twin, too. <gasps> oh, this is oh, horrible. Boy. But that's okay, because you know what happens is um, people, like, forget that it's your birthday, and then a few days later they feel really bad. Good. And, and for me, it's not, like... I'm not five anymore. You know what I mean? Like, oh please, Jackie. Here, so, read my lips. We always want a cake. Come on, and presents. <laughs> well, but what the good thing is, is that it lasts like all month long. Because then, as people like slowly remember, like you get invited out to dinner, and like pretty good. soon your whole month of <laughs> January wow. is taken up with dinner invites. I love this. So that, that, I love it. That sounds like so a good it's thing. it's all good. Yeah. It's like the silver lining. Guilt pays off. I, I should have a sign here. <laughs> guilt works. Uh, My mother yeah. taught me that a long time ago. Give them guilt. You can get almost anything. So, Jackie. I am looking for a job, and I've been unemployed since June of last year. Wow. And um, I'm wondering what you see coming through for me. Wow. You know, Capricorns are going through a really rough time now. Uh, it's funny, you said since, when did you actually start looking for, for a job? Um, in June of June. last year. That's what I thought you said. Jackie, I don't know. I think we have to have a little realignment of uh, where you're going. You gave so much into your job, and you just poured yourself into it. I just, okay, now Spirit is telling me, you worked very, very hard to make this work. And you were there quite a period, long period of time. Mm, two and a half years. Yeah, that's a long time. It's not as long as 25, like we were dumped by our radio station. Send them a letter, please. <laughs> Write to Jeff Lowe. In any case, uh, two and a half years, they should have treated you better. I feel you worked very hard for the company, and they owe you. You should have had benefits that you didn't get. And I don't know if you collected unemployment, but you certainly are entitled. 
Yeah, I did. I am collecting. You, I hope you are collecting. Okay. Jackie, I have to tell you something else. This applies to everyone. A lot of companies say that the person is an independent contractor. That's the new term for I'm not contributing unemployment benefits and you're not going to get anything. I'm going to fire you and you're getting nothing. If you're called an independent contractor, you're out of luck. So I'm very happy that you collected. Now, when that money runs out, it's in the process of running out soon, right? In the springtime? Um, well, they apparently, you know, just um, extended, extended good, good, the good. unemployment. Okay, good. So when do you expect it to run out? When the weather is warm? Like the end of the summer, maybe? Well, in my world, it's not going to run out because I'm going to get a job before it runs good. out. Okay, because what I was hearing for you, Jackie, is that as the, the uh, unemployment, be benefits, unemployment benefits would run out approximately at that time. Why can't I speak today? <laughs> approximately at the time that the unemployment benefits would run out, that's when the new employment kicks in. And are you corporate? What do you really love? Um, I mean, I, I love to sell, and I like to learn about drugs. I was a pharmaceutical sales rep, I mean, mm -hmm. prior to uh, this job. Mm -hmm. And um, What do you think, I'm going to ask you a question. What do you think about what's happening in the pharmaceutical industry? The fact that well, so many kids are on drugs, especially. <clears throat> what, what do you mean, like, specifically? Okay. My dad was a pharmacist. So I, I, you know, I grew up with a drug background. Uh, my feeling is that kids are drugged for everything, and they're doing it recreationally on top of that. I mean, they're in school, they're getting middle end because they're a little unruly. When I went to school, the teacher said, go to the principal's office. There was no riddle in, and I think that was mm -hmm. a better thing because I learned a long time ago that every drug has a side effect. Would you agree with that? Right, right. Okay. Well, <clears throat> I mean, I sold cardiovascular drugs. and That's wonderful. I, I wasn't selling, you know. Recreational drugs. <laughs> right. Okay. This is very good. And it's very important. And you are so rock solid in your delivery and in your dedication that they shouldn't have let you go. Well, I had people that did not like me um, for whatever reason. I still, I, I haven't you. come. Co I know. What they, they were jealous. It's so, um, but they, they. What they said about me was not challenged. I was not asked my point of view. I just, when I could feel this happening, I just put my head down and just, you know, tried to work as hard as I could and did what they told me to do. And, you know, that's not and like then you one day all. they. Excuse me, we've never talked before, but I know that's not like you. Why did that happen? Why did you go into a, a state of withdrawal like that instead of fighting these SOBs head on? As you should have because it, it it had happened to me at other jobs, and I was like, I must be the I'm the common denominator. Like, what is my problem? No, uh, let me tell you what your problem is. They're threatened by you. You're together. You're strong. You're on target. You're honest. I see integrity with you, and dedication to the job. And these things are all very threatening, especially to uh, certain other people, whose name I'm not mentioning. Mostly guys. <laughs> um, they don't like women with those qualities. And well, I, I worked with all women. I don't care who you worked with. They're, they were threatened by you. It doesn't matter whether they were men, women, or what they were. You came in with integrity and strength, and I don't think that that was true for all of them. So if you had had an opportunity of defending yourself, I think it would have worked out better for you. Well, and even my, we didn't have bosses. We had something called sponsors there because they have a new, they have a unique management style. But... Um, my sponsor never backed me up. She never helped me. Why? It was like, you Why? know. Why is that, Jackie? I, I Don't make me shake my rattle at you. <laughs> I think the reason why is because they went to her to complain about me, and she didn't. Somebody described it to me like this. It's easier to be in the herd than out of the herd. And you are not part of the herd. You, as I was but saying But she before. wanted to be part of the herd. And... She wanted to be, she didn't want to be with me. Like, she didn't want to protect me. She wanted to hide in the herd. 
This is so unacceptable. Because she wasn't going to go down. It's unacceptable. And these are people who are cowards. You know no what? Spine but, you know, whatsoever. at this point, I like I know that I have to move on and get over my anger and whatnot. I was really upset though because somebody in that group, I saw them. They linked. They uh, looked at my LinkedIn profile, and I was like, "Haven't they done enough damage already to me? Right. Like, why do they have to even look to see what I'm up to?" Well, you know, they continue to be threatened by you. And I don't think this is over. I think you you shouldn't get over your anger that quickly. You should take a little action. And I think that your reputation is on the line also, which is unacceptable. <laughs> now, Jack yeah. has something to say. I can tell you. He's over there moaning or something. So No, I I just that uh, Jack is in a... Number eight personal year, which of course that's great involves money, that's great. executive ability, and so forth. Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay, and well, so it's so um, she's in a number eight year, and she's a Capricorn. So there's nothing like a Capricorn in a number eight year. I would exactly. say exactly. So this is. Um, I think it's all good, but I think she, well. she mm -hmm. does have to take some sort of action to justify what came down and the reputation. Uh, You'll be fine. Look, even if there's no justifications, in many cases in, in life, you know, there's not, Jackie. But I think that you need to write a letter and you need to state your own case. Don't let it just go because that's not healthy for you or for the whole situation. <coughs> you need to write a letter I, I, and make a few copies and send the copies also. Go ahead. What? I thought about writing a letter early on because I felt like during the last meeting there, somebody divulged some health information about me, and it, um, I thought it was a HIPAA violation. When And nobody in the meeting said that it was inappropriate or whatever. Exactly. But I did bring it up to HR. I said what she said about me was a violation of my right to privacy. Well, and the HR person said, well, what do you want me to do about it? Well, you can and do I your said job, it needs to be documented in no. her personnel file. Yeah, she needs to do something. And uh, again, another lazy person. And laziness is not something that's part of your nature, Jackie. And no, I'm, I'm, uh, I wish I could get a little more lazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you could be a little bit lazy now while you're collecting unemployment, just a little bit, and then you start writing and let the anger and the venom come out because it needs to be expressed. And it's not right that they pull the rug out from under you like that. You know, so mm. I, I would say uh, start writing. And send them certified, you know, so you know what the letters are received. And uh, I actually think that you, you have a, a, a case against them, but that's just my opinion. That's what I'm hearing for you. I hate unjustification like this. This is not right to treat you this way. Jackie, you have to let us know what's happening, but I feel that as the weather gets warmer, you do have some nice changes, and you're in a number eight years. What more could you want? This is a time for you to set yourself back a little bit, think about the situation, meditate every day, and then write. Write a letter. Don't make it too long, because I know sometimes you can write too much. Let it be short. These are not people with attention spans. Let it be short and to, <laughs> short and to the point, okay? And uh, make copies and send it to all the people who are involved. You had a lot of people who did not want you on the job. Yeah. You know, and uh, that's really unacceptable. So you, mm -hmm. don't forget, weather gets warmer. You are right into something much, much better. I don't think you're going and back to the same I just same hope company. that when people notice that I was missing, I just hope that they put the pieces together. You know? I think you're expecting a lot. Uh, I think yeah. one person, maybe, but uh, that doesn't help you, does it? What helps you is taking a stand and then taking a legal stand. That's even better. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I don't know if you want to take it that far because... That, yeah, that I, I kind of don't. No, that can but. have repercussions. So, you know, sometimes you shouldn't listen to me. That was my, <laughs> my Indian shaker. <laughs> All right, my dear. Please let us know. And we're behind you 100%. Like, I, w I wasn't just fired from my radio station. Okay. Well, <laughs> well thank you so much. Thank you, Jackie. Hey, you're welcome, no. Jackie. All right. No. Take care. Now, right. Jack, you're going to say that I wasn't well, fired. <laughs> what was it? They said, don't come in. How is that different? Um, well, no, it's not exactly like that. It's more that the, we never want to see you. They're again. doing some rescheduling, and, okay. and um, I'm too emotional. They're You're trying right. to find a, a new spot for you, they, and they uh, will find this hasn't spot. happened yet. Well, I mean, sometime in my lifetime, I would like this to happen. So far, how long has it been? It's been two weeks. How long does it take to look at a schedule and say, "Ah, oh, this is good," right? 
Hmm. True. Well, I think they're dragging their heels because it comes down to greed again. I, I, if I spoke to Mr. Lowe, I would tell him the same thing. Well, they know, have I think quality counts. What? If they have all the spots filled up with paying uh, people. Oh, paying. You know what that means? That means poor quality. You and I bring oh, I know that. And quality, yeah. and we care about people. We don't make any money doing this. If maybe if I sell a book, I'm happy. But uh, my books are in the library. You can get them free of charge. Everything I do, you can, you can have free of charge. I'm a free radio li uh, readings for our listeners. If you're out of work and you need a reading, you know, I'll give you a little reading. I won't charge anything. That's a, even off the air. You can just go to my website. It's all in there. It's Joyce Keller. Here's the card back here. See that, Jack? Mm -hmm. JoyceKeller.com. Okay. Where's your... Oh, I see. You put the dot can com you just, at your can name. Can you scroll over here so they can see, mm -hmm. so in case they don't hear what I'm saying? Okay, this is because it's also going to be on our new TV link up, and that is www.past... TV network, past-tv network, okay, dot com. Okay? And you can get that around the clock. And we do a new show each week. So if you're a part of this show and you call in, it'll be, in case you miss it, it'll be played 24-7 on Blog Talk Radio and on Past TV Network. Okay, if you wanted to join us now, the number on the air is one three four seven three two four three five eight four. I'll give that to you again. Three four seven. Three two four, three five eight four. A lot of calls holding. We have a, some calls okay. holding. Yes. Let's mm. take another call. Hello. I have right, to be nice. Right? Let me uh, get the connection. Hello. Hello. Hi, Hi. there. How are you? Okay. Mm. What's your name? Karen. 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 <laughs> I can't hear your name. I'm sorry. Uh, are you on a speakerphone? Karen. Karen. Is that better? Much Karen. better. Karen. That's better, Karen. How are Sorry, you, Karen? Joyce. Hi, Jack. How are you? Hi, Karen. <laughs> You're fine. Karen, what's your birthday on? March 20th, 1959. Oh, you gave the year, too. March 20th, 59. And that's Karen. Okay. All right. Karen, you're developing medium. Oh, wonderful, Karen. Karen, how have you, you been? you remember me? Yes, of course. Now I do. After, <laughs> after you told me your birthday. You know how many Karens I know, and I have to listen to your voice and link it up with the birthday. <clears throat> Karen, you've gone through such a rough time, my darling. How have you been? I'm miserable, Miss Joyce. Just miserable. You're miserable. Talk to us. We're here to listen. Uh, it's like, um, I don't know if I'm... I, I've completely fallen apart. I'll, You're I'll falling apart. That. But look what you've been through. Can you tell the audience what you've been through? Come on. Um, oh, I don't know how far back you want me to go, but... Well, you um, decide. <laughs> Come on. And it's, you have a terrible, terrible phone connection, I have to tell you. Oh. I, I don't know what you're on, but maybe... I am on a cell. Maybe if you just turn your head a little, sometimes that works. Okay, I've, Karen. I've, I've changed rooms. Maybe the volume needs to be turned up. No, sweetie, it's okay. Whatever you have is fine. Just talk to us and tell us what's been going on oh, so the audience can uh, hear it from you. Oh, well, this doesn't have to do with, it does have to do with the spiritual direction. As you know, I was woken up a few years ago by my mom yes. and had quite a few extraordinary experiences. And... Um, I'm kind of on the skeptical side, so they had to knock me upside the head pretty good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Really. Um, but recently, I met someone um, when I was at a conference in Florida uh, who was um, a medium, and she gave me a lovely reading. And then when I got back to Orlando, a week, I mean, got back from Orlando and came back to Atlanta, I went to a... Um, um, with a friend to a free reading, a class had just, a psychic development class had uh -huh. um, just you, graduated. You emailed this to me, right? You told me about this, right? I think so, yeah. Uh -huh. And I met this, and the same woman was there. <laughs> Again? <laughs> yeah. You know, and they say there's no such thing as coincidences, so. She gets um, around. Any, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a friend that, um, oh, it's, I'm such a mess, Joyce. No, you're not. I lost a really, good, I lost a really good friend. I, lo I, I let a friendship go. Um, I remember you told me about that, too. 
and um, I think I don't know what's. I, I'm just. Don't, I have no direction. I'm so lost. No, you're not. I'm, Didn't you know? Last year, it seems to me that we had an emailing interaction, interactive conversation, yeah. where I said, once you start that psychic work yourself and you get that ball rolling. Now, you saw this woman twice. You see how she works. You're at least as good as she is. I, I well, think. I thought, sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Karen. No, my my. I think my biggest my biggest question is is you know how they say people come in and out of your life for a reason. Mm -hmm. um, when I met this new person, um, I lost a good friend. Mm -hmm. um, we had a falling out, and um, and I feel badly about it. The new direction I thought I was going to go on, uh, I was introduced to a, a very nice man who happens to be a um, Cheyenne shaman. Good. Who wants Wait, to hold on. Hold me. everything. That gets one of these. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. you only have radio, right? But I have a, a yeah. beautiful, and you must ask him what this is called, but it has a feather on it. It's fabulous. Go ahead. <laughs> it sounds wonderful. Anyway, so I met a man who is a Cheyenne-trained shaman. And he wants to work with me. And in, in saying that I would work with him, I lost a good friend who had been a good mentor to me. And, and it's just the paranormal community here in Atlanta is very tight, very backbiting, very ego-driven. Mm -hmm. And it's almost like my, my whole world, my social world has fallen apart, my spiritual world, I don't know which direction to go. And I'm out of work. And I'm just Anything else? <laughs> Help. Well, you must be forgetting something. Help me. <laughs> well, I think you shouldn't be looking for a job. That's the first thing. You, you go to metaphysical centers. You see how they run. How is your ability less than any of the people that you're running into and whose lectures and classes you're taking? I, I, don't, I don't do lectures and classes. I, Good. I, uh, what are you doing? Private? Uh, but the second time you ran I into meditate. her, was that a, 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 a workshop or a it, fair it or something? Fluke. It's a fluke. It was a uh, um, It was the 11, 11, 11 gathering down in Orlando, Florida, which was given by Panache Desai. Okay. It was kind of like, uh, do you know who he is? Yeah, I, you told me about this. Yeah. So well, that's where I met this, I met this woman, and um, I didn't know she was from Atlanta. Mm -hmm. So I was really, and she gave me a reading, and she was saying that um, she had connected with my father and that he was working on something for me to mm -hmm. help me have one foot in the spiritual world and one in the physical, and that I needed to be patient. And to, to have run into her again in Atlanta, it was amazing, because I don't go off and get readings. I mean, I, I don't feel the, the need. So... And it's the, so, exactly. So what is the universe telling you, Karen? I'm confused. Why? I, Why are I you confused? I've been looking for a shaman for three or four years, and I feel like I might have met the person who, I mean, he looked at me and he looked at me, have we met before? And I said no. And he was looking for someone to help him produce his sweat lodges and stuff like that and invited me to work with him. And... Um, it's most interesting. I was on my way to a meeting with him, and I kept asking for a sign. And the night before, I didn't get one. The day of the meeting, I didn't get one. But as I walked into the door to the restaurant, I had my thumb. And Like the um, old thumb to thumb. Oh. Brother, well, blood he brother. told me blood, that, blood he brother told and me sister. that it was actually a sign for him because it had to do with an Indian ritual of self-sacrifice. So. Again, this calls for a little shaking of the finger. <laughs> That's very profound. Yeah. That's very wise, I'd like, Karen. I'd like to say that Jeff Karen is in a number one right in, to you, a Karen. number one year, so it's really the year to start something. Uh, last year was kind of a year of endings for you, Karen. Yeah. And uh, a lot of good friends. Yes. Okay, but now now you use your initiative and your you know your get up and go as much as possible to make it happen this year. I'm hoping to launch uh, my own business this year in photography. Oh, Karen, why don't you uh, let us know about it when you actually have cards printed or a website, when you have it all going, and we'll plug it for you. Come on, we'll help you get it going. 
I just I just got my business card done, and uh, it's Good. Um, Karen wanna... McAfee Photography. Come on, let's plug I'm it again. Simple. Say it slowly again. <laughs> Go ahead, Karen. Um, Karen McAfee Photography. Okay, now spell it out. K A R E N M. Right. And McAfee is M C A S E E. Yes. Photography. Photography. Okay. Dot com. I don't have a dot com yet. I'm I'm uh, just posting an album on uh, Facebook. Albums. Um, you can go to my Facebook page and there's a, K, a Karen Mac a KM Photography album there that I've started. Very good. So people can find you easily. And uh, what Thanks would you say? What would you say about your business? What do you want people to know? Well, I, I special, I'm going to specialize in nature scapes, really. I do a lot of work that you would hang in an office or something like that. I do super close-ups of floral flowers and stuff like that. But I also do amazing portraiture. I know you do. I know you do. So I think it will help when you have your website off and running, right? I mean, the website will be coming soon so people can actually see what you're doing. Now, I did some automatic writing for you, and uh, what I picked up for you is amazing. This is going to take off in a very big way, but you do need to advertise, obviously. The website yes. needs to be promoted. You need a fabulous website, which I, I think you can do yourself, but you can do the mm -hmm. basic parts of it yourself. Get some techies to work it through for you. But uh, the photography is amazing, and this needs to get out on the web. So you're there. You have the business cards already. Just network the heck out of this, Karen. Why would you think you don't have a job? That's why I said to you before, you're kidding. You're looking for a job. I don't think so. I think you're you're fine. You're going to be I, fine. I think that photography is the way to go, but I'm still, uh, you know, pretty much messed up in the in my personal life. Losing a couple of friends that I have is uh, is just really throwing me for a loop. But don't and you think? Hold everything, Karen. Excuse me. Don't you think if you lose someone, they get out, go out of your life, that the karma is over? Huh? That's it. I thought karma was supposed to go back and punish out of the person. And, pro and do what out of the person? <laughs> I, let's say I it again. If you were mean, I thought karma was, if you're mean to me, then karma's going to come back and get you for being mean to me. Well, I don't know about that, but I know that you can finish karma with certain people, and that ends it, and then you move on. So I hope so. Oh, they can come back in your life if, you know, if it's meant to be, if it's part of your, your karmic plan. And I do feel that our karma is very much presented before our birth, and then we have like 20% uh, to 25% free will on top of that. You know, our guides mm -hmm. and angels work with that, as, as you know. But I have one other thing to say to you, Karen. You're going to do incredible psychic photography of some kind. You're not going to do a regular, artistic, beautiful photography. You're going to combine that with... Uh, uh, just with um, what I'm seeing for you is spirit faces that will be working through and coming through with you also. But that'll take a little while. It might take like four or five years. And I'm not always That's so great. About, pardon me? That would be interesting. I'm not always so great about time, but that information is correct. And people, through your photography, are going to receive healing and messages. It's going to be very metaphysical. So, if, you know, email me. I'll always get back to you. If anyone emails me, I'm very easy to reach, and I'm very good, even if I have to go without sleeping. Jack will tell you, right, Jack? That's right. <laughs> you are a wonderful joy. No, I'm not. I, I, I just, I'm a Gemini, and I'm afraid I'll miss something if I go to bed or go to sleep, so I consequently <laughs> hardly sleep. But I will answer your emails. If you email me at JoyceKeller at MindSpring.com, go to my website. It's all in there. If you have a problem, I'll try to help you. You know, I, I feel it all comes back, right, Karen? So if you do something nice, it'll come back. You're going into a number eight year. Why are you worried? Karen, thank you for calling. God bless you. We love you, Karen. <laughs> Bye, Karen. Now, Jack says we have another call to take, or what would you like, Jack? Uh, I live to serve you, Jack. Not so much. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> Can you uh, that? I'm going to keep you straight. Um, <laughs> let's try three, two, three exchange. Hello. 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 Hi there. You are. Hi. 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 You... This is Camille. Uh, would you spell that for me, please? Camille. C -A -M -I -L -L -E, oh, Camille. C a m i l l e, like the Greta Garbo. Hello, uh, oh, Camille. Movie. Of course, wow. Camille. Yes. Of oh, course, Camille. Yes. Oh, how wonderful. Camille, I love your energy, sweetie. What's your birthday? July 13th, 1976. Wow. 
Are you out of work? <laughs> um, at the present moment, <laughs> yeah, I am um, self-employed in creating my own um, business. Hmm. Wow. And also, um, my daughter, I just had her December 7th, so I've got a lot going on. Now, I'm sorry, you said your daughter, and then you said December 7th, and we lost you at that point. We didn't hear what you said. Yeah, I just gave birth to her on December 7th. Oh, congratulations, you have a brand new baby. So it's 6, yes. 7, 12, yes? And what's the gorgeous yeah, baby's so. name? Her name is Cybelle, C-Y-B-E-L-L-E, Aphrodite. Okay. Aphrodite. Oh, beautiful name. Oh, Camille, yeah. how did you come up? With so, I'm sorry, she's born 6, 7, 11. No, she's born um, December 7th, 11. Okay, because I'm having such a problem. It's my, it must be my junky no, headphones. No, 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 it's okay. My headphones yeah, are just so old. Months. Camille, if I showed you my headphones, you would feel <laughs> bad for me because the fluffing uh, insulation is all out. I need new headphones very I think badly. so, yeah. Look at this. Oh, I have dear. to show this. Well, you know, this is only radio, but this will go out onto TV, and you'll all feel very bad. I'm going to take them off and show you. This is what Jack makes me wear. Look at this piece hanging down. You feel bad for me? Now I have to put them back on. This is why, between the bad, junky phones that we all have now, right, right. and my headphones, which are, have the insulation falling out. Okay. Cybelle, oh, no. oh, wait, so let's talk about Cybelle Aphrodite for a second. Yeah, I, in high school, I came across um, a Eugene O'Neill play, and I, the name just stuck with me. I wasn't sure how it was pronounced. It was spelled a little differently, but it just, you know, just in my head, it wasn't Sybil. It looked like Cybelle, so it just stuck with me. Fabulous. And, um, yeah. I love the name. Well, she's going to have a great Thanks. future. And don't try to give her advice. Let me tell you. How old is she now? She's, uh... She is just under... She's just, um, 11 weeks. She's... Yeah, 11 weeks. So she's she's re really a little one. Uh, yes. She's going to have a great future. She has a lot of money around her, by the way. And don't try to cut corners with this kid. Don't say, I think you should get the less expensive one from Walmart. That's not going to work. <laughs> This is a kid okay. who has good taste. She knows what she wants. She's an old soul like you are. She is, see, you're super sensitive. I don't, just between us, I don't think Camille is right. as sensitive as you are. She's stronger than you are. And she's going to adore you because you're a wonderful mother. And you give, 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 give constantly to your child and to anyone who comes into your life. I could take advantage of you. <laughs> no, no, we don't want to do that, but yeah. <laughs> but that, you're like that. You, you just give, and you have a very open heart and very loving way. She, she's going to adore you, you know, which oh, she good. does already. But please take a little bit of advice from old Joycey. Don't buck, when she's older, don't buck heads, don't butt heads with her because you Makes will lose. Sense. You will lose. There are some kids you can bully them a little, you know, you could say, no, I want you to clean your room. That works. With her, you have no. to, you know, it's like um, the the ancient art of, help me out here, Jack, what is that called, with, you know, where they just go past, like, not uh, not judo, but, uh, um, you know, it, they, they don't hit head on like that. Yeah. It's like, a sliding past, and that's how the masters survive, mm -hmm. and that's how you have to survive with this yeah. lovely young lady. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. No, okay. but, but she's wonderful, and she, you'll always be very proud of her, and she'll always know what she wants. Don't try to sway her, because you'll lose. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. You know, and just, uh, because she has been your mother in other lifetimes also, which doesn't help one tiny bit. <laughs> right. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Yeah. You know, it's so funny. If you read Khalil Gibran, uh, the prophet, yeah. I think it's, uh, it's the prophet, Jack. Yeah. We're at the On very, children. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, but it's not only the part about children's reading, but also the very last page, the last line of the prophet. You know what that line is? No. A, a little while. Another okay. moment upon the wind. Um, right. And another woman shall bear me. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here's a perfect wow. example. Another moment upon the wind. Right, Jack? Right. And another woman shall bear me. And if ch children, he said you can... Uh, you can try to be like them, but don't try to make them like you. So they are. <laughs> it's a shame because. Well, they say that the, the sons and daughters of tomorrow, which you cannot visit even in your dreams. It's a shame because Camille is a wonderful mother. Are you a good? Oh cook? yeah. Oh yeah. Are you a good cook? Yes, I am. What do you like to cook, Camille? 
Uh, at the moment, I really like to cook soup. Um, <laughs> soup good. and cookies. That's been the easiest yeah. thing for good, me to fix. Good, good wintertime food. <laughs> <laughs> no, but so, exactly. You know, you just had a baby. Yeah. So, you know what's so depressing? What's that? Uh, who is it, Beyonce, who just had a baby? Yes. So she's she's out modeling already. She's like a size one and a half already. You know, don't be depressed by that. <laughs> because she has... You four, know, I'm not. Please don't be. Because she has four trainers. I know, I had babies too. And it's very hard mm -hmm. to get that weight off. Especially for a Cancerian woman like you. You are very feminine. Well, you know? How's the weight? True, however, I... Um I have already just naturally weight has slid off. Thank and, God. Um, yeah, it's kind of like I didn't realize I spent an entire 34 weeks pregnant, and I guess I just went to Maui. I the her father claimed he'd had a vasectomy and still claims he did. <laughs> and um, I didn't think I could possibly be pregnant because I had other stresses in my life and, you know, just caught, caught up in my own little world. And then I went into labor and I thought, you know, I still didn't know what's going on. Something's wrong. I need to go to a doctor. And I called and I said, wait a minute, I, I don't know. But I think I might be in labor. And they said, yeah, you are. And so I had about a half hour to ambulance ride over to just to sudden, suddenly I'm having a baby. I wasn't gaining weight. I didn't have um, symptoms. Like symptoms I'd grown up hearing about pregnancy. I'd never really been around a pregnant woman from start to finish, ever. So there I was. I... From what they tell me, I did most of my labor at home alone. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Uh, we have to give you yeah. a special present. I don't know what that is, but... I think we have time to take one more call. You know what, Sorry. Camille? Mm -hmm. It's going to be fine. You, uh... Ha where is... I don't see any problems. You, you, you're you okay. okay? You know, don't, your, your weight is good. It's all good. Right? Okay. You're good. God bless you. I'm, Camille, thank you. Call thank it again. Thank you very much. We'll give you one of these in here, Jake. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Jack, do we have time for another call? Um, yes, I think so. Who's Sorry, on the line? Hello. Wait, just a moment. <laughs> okay, hello. Hi there. <laughs> Anyone there? Hello? Hi there. there. You What's your name? Huh? Doris. Doris? Doris, yes. what kind of a phone do you have, Doris? I don't like it. <laughs> Go ahead, Doris. What's... I'm sorry. I'm just trying to sit up. That's okay, darling. What's your birthday? August 18, 1964. With a birthday like that, how could you have a problem in the world? <laughs> <laughs> how may we help you in the remaining very brief time that we have? Uh, any guidance that you can give me, you know, I have problems, mm. but I'm growing, I'm, I'm spiritually growing, and uh, I'm having really good meditations right now, <laughs> so. This is um, a dream come true. It, <laughs> I'm sorry, Doris, go ahead. So, go ahead. so I'm just, uh, anything on a spiritual nature. Yes. That can help me. Yes, absolutely. You're a natural medium. Why aren't you uh, doing readings? Huh? Because I need a little bit more guidance. How may? Oh, look, you must get my book. Get it free from the library. Don't buy it. Uh, Seven okay. Steps to Heaven. Which one? Uh, this one. This tells you how to develop your mediumship, okay? Don't look at my nails. Okay. Okay, I put my nails over here because my nails are not growing. I don't know how to get my nails to grow. It's my only problem. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, now this oh. book tells you how to become a medium, how, to, how not to have to go to psychics or mediums, how you can do this yourself. Okay. Seven Steps to Heaven. Go to the Seven library. Steps to heaven. Yeah, go to the library. Okay. If you, if you have to get it, you know, it's so funny, if you go to Amazon, you can pay anywhere from one cent to $85 for it. Amazon is crazy. Uh, the prices are, are very strange, Doris. But you okay. need to meditate and you need to let your guides, you have fabulous guides. 
You have you okay. have Indians. You have a whole a whole. Uh, you you have healing guides. You have wonderful guides working with you. So I know that you're going to be getting into the business of uh, doing this work. And again, we'll help you. You know, we'll work together. Let me know what you're up to. Send me an email, Joyce Keller at Mindspring, or go to my website. Tell me how you're doing, and I'll, I'll try to help you along. Okay. But, okay. Thank you very much. But you're well on your way, and you, you're powerful. You have tremendous power. Yes. Yes. Yes, Doris, I know. You'll give me a reading, yep. right? And I'll give you one. We'll exchange readings. Okay, Doris? Okay. All right, Doris. Okay. Before you go, do we have any time left, honey? Wait, Doris, don't hang up. Well, maybe okay. two minutes, I We think. have two minutes. All right, Doris, tell us. I don't think we have time for another call, do we? Okay, I'll just well, talk to you. Well, try one more. Uh, okay, oh, Doris. No, no, no. Okay, right. never mind. We'll That's, stay with Doris. This Doris. is the only one left, right. 90 seconds. Doris, okay. just tell me in the very brief minute that we have left, tell me what you're doing to develop your, your natural mediumship. I'm just trying to get my ego out the way and trying to be at peace and, and meditation. <clears throat> Doris, you know what you must do? I'm hearing so powerfully that you must keep a little notebook by your bed. We should all do this anyway. And uh, a, a good pen that writes. Because you know, a lot of times you write with our eyes closed and there's no ink mm -hmm. coming out. Um, write your dreams down. Your 60 dreams, seconds. Dreams are going to tell you everything you need to know about your life, about guidance, and they'll come in more and more powerfully. The more you write and the more you try to remember, even if you wake up and you say, I didn't dream last night, we all dream. Uh, mm -hmm. You'll remember something. The mere fact that you're trying, your guides will give you more and more, and that mediumship will come out very powerfully. You also should probably be part of a meditation group. Like sometimes you go in a little circle or a group, if there's a group near you. Where do you live? I live in St. Louis. Missouri. St. Louis, put uh, check your local papers, check the webs, put in your, your zip code, see if you can find metaphysical groups, a metaphysical church. You're going to be working with a church also. You know okay. that? Do you, do you ever think about that? Yes, I, I do, but I haven't. Ten seconds. All right, my I've darling. You know what? Uh -huh. It's going to open up for you. Unfortunately, we only have about eight seconds to go. But, Taurus, thank you, and please let us know your progress, and we're very happy that you called in. We thank you, and God bless okay. you. And stay, stay with us, you know, with the, the website. Stay in contact. Until next time, I wanted to thank you all very, very much for being with us on Block Talk Radio. And also make sure you tune in to PastTVNetwork.com for our TV uh, broadcasting as well. I love to each and every one of you. Don't drive faster than your angels can fly. Till next time, this is Joyce and Jack Keller. God bless you all.